What up, YouTube? So, today's the day. I'm gonna get this thing out in this parking spot. I already moved that already with the Jeep. So, I'm gonna bring this out, bring it in, start putting the camshafts in back in, part coat the valve covers, and do little things today. So, this is what I'll be doing. I'm gonna grab the keys and pull this bitch up. Alright, if I pushed in the car, um, this is how she looks right now. I'm going to take off the valve covers, take off the upper intake manifold, and start putting everything together right now. So, right, right now, I'm going to power coat these uh, valve covers first. So, when they are baking over there in the oven, I can start putting the camshafts in, all right? Um, that's how she looks right now. Been sitting for like two months, three months like that, charging my battery. So, uh... Hopefully, one more step closer to get this bitch running. So, I'll be taking these off. And I'll remember 10 millimeters. Take all that crap off. Uh, I didn't even put anything back together hand tight. I mean, uh, just ratchet it down, just finger tight. So, um, that's what I'll be doing. All right, took out the velcro, uh, timing cover. Took out the, the front uh, velcro cover. Right now, so I'm, I'm gonna start power coiling this, take out the gaskets. I'll basically just take these out, nice and so. I uh, got new gaskets over there by my toolbox, so you take these out. Um, they're really leaking anyway, so I'm gonna pop these out with a flathead screwdriver or something like that, clean it, prep it, and put it in the oven. So I'll take everything off. I'm gonna take out the PVC. Uh, 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 positive crankcake but uh valve right here so i'm going to clean this out right now then i'm going to start putting the camshafts in this side first all that little fun stuff i'm going to read the book what i need to do and not to do so all right so let me uh prep this out all right guys um right now it's not 100 percent prep yet but uh here's the old gaskets i took off from the um the old rings for the spur plugs that seals it. So I'm trying to take all the nasty, I don't know, grime is on the Velcro before I start power coating it. I'll wash it with water and uh, and soap, soap and water. So I still got crud in here. So that's what I'd be doing, just sanding. I wish I had a sandblaster so I can blast everything right away, but it is what it is. So. That's what I be, I'm doing right now, so that's how it looks. Uh, now, the rear ones ain't, it wasn't, isn't that bad, so. So, let me get this ready. Yeah, let me prep it, then power coat it. So, I'll show you guys. So, get in, get in there, so. Gonna clean these out still, so. That's what I'll be doing. Alright, I got... Bad news for myself right now, so uh, clean up the valve cover as best as I can, but it doesn't fit in my stupid oven, so I had to wait to get an oven here. So, fuck, uh, pain in the dick. So, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna put the cams in right now, so uh. Okay, basically, if we're not doing uh, valve covers, uh, you just put new gaskets and stuff like that. So, basically, you want to clean all the grime on the edge that you can use brake cleaner. Uh, if you have a plastic, um, a plastic uh, with a razor or whatever, you can. That's uh, the safest. But if you use a uh, metal one, just be careful because this is aluminum. So I'll be that's what I'll be doing right now. I'm just gonna clean this out and just uh install the the camshafts in here. So here's the chain for it. So I'll be uh, doing all that stuff right now. So let me clean out the gasket area and install start installing the cams in. All right, I took all the caps. So I ordered them right here. I right, clean. Oh, some of this stuff out, all the old crap, corrosion, so 
to start grabbing the camshafts. So I'm gonna do one at a time, see if that's possible. Uh, I'm gonna read the service manual, how you do it right. Um, working with the Chrysler, so basically just set them up. I had like a nice, uh, not the lobes are all touching, but let me see if it's true. So um, I'm just gonna take my time doing it. So if you guys are doing it on your first time, just take your time, don't rush it. No. So I'm not rushing it, so um yeah, let's go grab the camshafts. Alright. Uh, I'm pretty sure the cams are the exact same thing, so um let's pull these out. Let's pull one of these out, so that's what I'll be doing right now. And I'll take a bag on the intake. Alright, so here's the cams. So the first things first, uh Crower gave me this, so assembly loop. So basically, I'll pour some out on your finger, put them in the journals, so just, look just like that, it's just like so. Uh, pour in the journals. So this is my first time doing this shit on my own. So um a little not that hard, so um do that. Um you grab the chain. The chain right here. Oh let's see. So there's that dark dark one right here. And the other side with the dark one. So you basically uh, I'll show you what I put in right now, so all right, so basically, um, those dark um, ch uh, chain sprocket thingamajigger, I don't know what the hell called, they're glow caps. So they, you want one cycle to the exhaust side from that keyhole, and the same thing as the intake. So I'm taking my time doing it, so right here. So there's a little arrow. I don't know if you guys can see that little arrow there and there. So that's what they need to go into. So I'll show you. I'll uh, basically see if I can do it without. Uh, let's see. Doing it right. Alright, so I don't know if you can see that. Like that. Grab the exhaust side. Try and do this carefully. So. So I'm off. So I'll go take the sprocket out. Move it just like that so it's supposed to be like that I don't know if you guys see that or not so so you put them in the same time nice and easy so all right no, not that bad to do so hopefully you you guys can see that. See, here. dark one to the intake, the exhaust. Pretty much simple to do. So you grab these caps. Oh fuck! So don't be like me, being like a dumbass. So then you pull a little grease on these. So. So I can do this one-hander. Put this out right here. I just fuck it. I just do it like this. I ain't gonna hurt it. Okay. 
just like that. Alright, so the arrows need to go front of the engine. So, like that. Just finger tighten them. Don't go crazy on it. Basically do the same thing in all of them. So, next one. Just finger tighten the camshafts. Yeah, the arrow, just remember that, just towards the front of the engine. Pretty much it, so let me put everything together, so. All right, uh, the last cap is like, it had like this, something like this. So, I'm just gonna put a little RTV. So, just a, just a nice smudge right here because I didn't buy, buy the freaking a new part for that one. So, I'm just gonna put a little bit of RTV on it. So, so I don't want it all squished out. Plus, just in case I make too much freaking power or not enough power to explode it. So, Just tad around it, so. All right, I got my torque wrench. I set it to 11 foot pounds. Um, I'm surprised, so don't drop the freaking torque wrench. Uh, so I'm gonna start in the middle, middle, then the outer. So pretty much, you don't need no fancy snap on one, but I got it because I got it for half off, so. Until you hit 11, um, then you got it. So, pretty simple. Just start in, in, slowly go out. So I did these three, so now I do the other outside now. That's pretty much it. So I'm gonna do those right now. All right, I removed the back end. Uh, totally forgot this part, the sensor. So I'm gonna power coat that too. But not today. So um, took everything off, clean it a little bit, put the assembly lube on. So let's go grab the cam. So, pretty sure it goes like this way. Right. Just let it sit. Don't make it force it. So, crap. Hopefully, it's not one of the bolts I need. If so, I'll try to look for it. So, goes like that. All right, so got same thing with the chain. Um, like I said, same thing as over here. Let's see, this this one, yeah. See this one, same color one right here, one the other one. So I'll do that. I'll show you how it is. Um, pretty simple. So 
take your time doing it right so pretty much how it is so just let it sit so we'll do one then grab the other side all right uh i don't know if you can see there or not uh let me grab my light I don't know if you guys can see the diff yeah right see uh, you can see the color the arrow onto that one same thing as over here so with Gucci we're good so now we'll put the cast back on assemble it all right uh, got this side done ready I tie all these at 11 foot pounds all uh, the times is good I'll put everything on to it so let's start putting this oil seals the uh, the camshaft seals so taking off the bolts I'll, on both sides and that side too so uh, that one doesn't have a bolt but it has an oil seal too so these weren't leaking, but when you take these off, you have to replace them anyway. So, um, I, got, I, got, I got these seals at Rock Auto. So, here's the part number. I don't know if you want original, but I'll buy everything off. Uh, buy everything from it. So, I'm gonna pull some lube. They provide the lube. So, I'm gonna lube the shaft up. I lubed it and see if, if it works. I don't a rec uh a requires a special tool but I don't see if I can have a socket or tap it in. Nice and easy. Uh let me grab my dead blow hammer. The fuck I put it. Uh oh up here. So Just tap it till it's flush. Oh, see, I, I can find a socket so I can tap it in more. So that's pretty much it. So I basically do it here, here, and the back one here too. So then the back one's right here. So I think I dropped one of the seals. Go look for it right now. So I'm, I'll put those in. Oh no, it's right here. I'm a retard. So there's little arrows on it too. So don't, uh, this way. It's supposed to be this way, not that way. So, goes in. So I'm gonna tap it. I'm gonna find something a little bit bigger than the camshaft, so I can just tap it, and make it more flush. All right, guys. Um, uh, I'd use this socket at uh, one and a quarter for it. Um, not this one. Fuck, wrong one. I use the. 13 millimeter made it flush right here so I did two good ones but this one's paying the dick because it didn't you don't have room if it, if it leaks it leaks then I'll replace it but that's pretty much it and uh, time to put the uh, cam shafts uh, uh, what's it called gears so I know I have a mess right here, so that's what I'm trying to do this shit today. Um, yeah, it's horrible. So right, here's one, and let's grab the other box right here. It's two. All right, like don't mind my mess. I'm trying to. He's trying to get rid of some parts. So, um, we're going to do one at a time. So, there's a little notch that goes to that pen. Just like that. Just like so. Grab your, uh, bolt. Tighten her up. So, that's how she looks right now. 
So now you grab the other, the other side. Hope I didn't mess it up. So yeah, so same thing. The sprocket goes here. Grab the bolt. It's hard to do one to one hand. All right, I put these on already. So I'm gonna uh, figure out what torque. Uh, was the torques on these so basically uh, these are 16s if I remember right I'm gonna grab a wrench that hold up here so I can hold the cam when I torque these down so let me read it right now all right the uh, the size of this one is a 17 millimeter I just grab a adjustable wrench um, the book says between 65 foot pounds to uh, 80 foot pounds so I'm gonna do 60 first then go up to like 75 I don't want to go too crazy, so let's see. I don't feel like it'll focus or not. Alright, that was 62. So, go 65. Alright. 78 then I'm gonna go to 75 exactly a 75 so so that's pretty much it so same thing in the on the rear I don't want you guys like watching me doing this crap so um yeah that's pretty much how you assemble camshafts um i'll uh, see next thing is to uh figure out where i want this to be so uh positive and negative uh advance the timing or, or uh retard the timing well um i'm pretty sure this moved a little bit because the bolts look it looks offset to me so uh i'm probably gonna for me for for my setup i'm gonna go retard the timing because i want to have more higher power on the higher end versus low end torque and power on the low end so for now i'm just gonna leave it like that so i gotta wait for a, a bigger oven so we could put my valve covers in. I don't want to take all this apart again. So I'm just going to put the covers back on. Make them all snug. Now I'm not going to go crazy. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Let's. Let's do. Uh, let's cough the. Cover off. No, let's put the cover on. See how she looks. And let's see. Let's just do that. That's one little thing I can do right now. So. So let's do that right now. All right, uh, this being being a pain in the dick, so I'm just gonna cough this area right here, so so I actually can see the cam uh, cam gear. So let's do that. Let me cut it. All right, I'm trying to modify it. So the cover, it's kind of look like something like that for now. But I'm gonna try to see if I can cut it a little bit more because I can't even see the stupid. Uh, with bolts so and the dumbass line so I'm gonna cut it a little bit more make it look nice so that's how she looks right now so let's start still cutting all right I cut the hose a little bit bigger but um, can't still see this but I'm gonna cut it a little bit more but I think I'm gonna cause a day I'm gonna put this everything back together uh, not 100% pick like bolt on so just wait till uh, next week. Hopefully, uh, I have the oven so I can start doing those belt covers power coated, and start power coating the fuel rails, the lower and upper intake manifolds, to make the engine bay look cleaner. So I'm just gonna throw a little oil on top of these, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna call it a day. So um, if any questions or concern, let me know. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day night weekend where are you guys from thank you drive safe and stay dirty